Hello, Luke. Uh, my name is Nelson Mason. I'm going to be your uh, Racers 360 coach here uh, at Heartland Park, uh, Topeka, Kansas. Um, I've been here. Actually, I raced uh, the SCCA runoffs here when I think I was like, you know, 16 or slightly lying about my age, like 15 and a half kind of thing. Um, finished third here in Formula V, so a little bit of a different car than uh, the Corvette, of course. But uh, in saying that, I was, I will give myself the credit. I was the quickest car on the track, but got uh, knocked off at turn one quite handily on the start. So um, anyway, cool track. I actually really like Heartland Park. Um, and I've got, uh, you said you, you know, you, you're still fairly new. So you want to uh, work on your lines and stuff. And for sure, we can do that. For sure, there's uh, some things that uh, you know some tips and tricks that I can give you to to really allow yourself to to get that time down um, For starters in this session, you know, I know you're gonna go out there and, and you'll likely um, Want to follow some cars around and learn lines and things like that The reality is not everybody's line is going to be worthwhile to learn. So um, You have a pretty good baseline right now once we get some clear track you're gonna be able to uh, learn and play a little bit more. So once you have some clear track and you can do laps that way, going back to the video is going to help you a lot. Using Racers 360 is, is going to be exponential in, in the assist, but um, that's really the way to do it rather than following other guys because we don't know if they're doing the right thing or wrong thing. I know we were stuck behind uh, the cane in there for a while, but um, all right, we'll run into this. A little background on me. So um, right after my race, actually, I was already living in Europe at the time that I raced here. I flew in for this one, and then uh, I was already racing uh, overseas. And um, I was over there for about 13 years, and, and just recently came back. And now we're we're working on uh, some open wheel programs over here. I was racing uh, Formula Two World Series over there, so um, we'll see what the future holds. But I'm going to give you. Uh, a little bit of a, let's say, we'll increase your baseline where it is and we'll go from there. Um, I will really focus on the line. I'll, I'll mention a few things about throttle and brake and things like that, but I think for where you're at, I think the line is, is where, you know, a good place for us to start is. Okay, so here we go. We'll uh, run down the straight here. For whatever reason, it didn't come with the audio on my side, but could be because it's a Mac or something like that. I don't know. But no worries. I, I've got a pretty good handle on what's going on. So not the end of the world. Just you have to listen to me talk the whole time, which is unfortunate for you. Okay. So running into turn one here. Um, you know, I like your line. I like your line coming, coming down the straight and everything like that. Um, I do think that, you know, if you work a little bit harder, like the one two combination is a little bit more open than it was when I ran here. But still, if you work a little bit harder in getting the car just over to the left side a little bit more, because right now we're, we're doing one of these um, where we're kind of just, you know, taking the path of least resistance. If we work a little bit harder to get the car over, you know, just over here a little bit more. Um, I think you're going to find a little bit, uh, you're going to feel like the corner is a little bit more open and therefore that's going to kind of instill in you that you can carry more speed. So the other thing is we're realistically, okay, so this is one point I would make. So we're on the gas here. We're already getting out of the gas but we don't really have anywhere to go to. We're just getting out of the gas for the sake of it because we're coming over a hill. If we're really look, you know, a big thing with, with uh, being quick or, or, and being consistent, let's say, and really getting the most out of the car is looking ahead, eyes up. So right now we see, we know, okay, there is an apex there. We want the car traveling in this direction so that we can get to the outside of the track coming down for turn one, right? We get the car positioned in this way. So right now we know that we realistically can still be into the gas, but 
we're out of the gas, we braked coming up the hill. So we bled off quite a bit of speed. And then we're out of the brake and now we're coasting downhill. So one of two things, A, we're not really maximizing to the braking zone. And B, I think, you know, if we've got the car down coming this way, like basically following just past the mid track point, um, I think you'll be much, much happier with the, uh, the entry into turn one um or what i call turn one anyway i mean maybe they call this turn one now but um anyway what i call turn one but also you know realistically we can be getting to the brakes at about like you know this point point. and can i drop or can i drop at about this point you know this could be our braking zone so anyway we were looking ahead now once we know okay this is going to be our braking zone then we're going to shift our focus to our apex corner, right? Where we're going to apex. So we're bringing the car out. So we got to work a little bit harder because right now, so, you know, you're pointed, you've got the car pointed kind of like this. And I want the car out here pointed like this. Okay. So there's a little bit more work to be done to get the car placed a little better. And then as we roll through here, we're just coasting, 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 coasting. You know, so now we coasted and then we're braking again once we've got it straight. Yes, that's what we want to do. We want to brake when it's straight. But if we work a little harder earlier on, we'll be straighter for longer. That means we can be on the gas for longer and our braking zone can be one fluid braking zone rather than a brake zone, another brake zone. Um, how I'm going to explain it is like this. So if we think of the data, it's going to look like this right now, let's say. So um, this will be like, let's say velocity, velocity over here versus time, okay? So right now, your, uh, let's say this corner kind of looks like a, this for us. Actually, not even that much. It's gonna look like this. Okay, so th let, think of this as like brake and throttle position. And kind of what I'm saying is eliminating this. So where this is our speed and then we're breaking to this point and then we're going to be getting on the gas and okay it's going to go like this all right so this will be time gained this will be time gained and this will be time gained i'm going to show you how we do that so realistically if we have the car straighter we do one braking event we don't break coming over the hill let it coast and then break again we do one braking event and let's focus on that for each corner one brake, one throttle, one steer. This is how we'll do the corners, okay? But, okay, so now we're in good position, or pretty good position over here. We could be a little better. But uh, still, you're carrying, carrying in the brake nicely, which I like. You're keeping the, um, keeping the nose down. But then, so we do all the work. We keep it fairly tight here. But the, the, the thing that I notice is that through this left, I mean, okay, first, let me back up a second. I had said, okay, let's, once we pick up our braking zone, then we're going to pick up our apex, eyes up. So we've now picked up the apex because we know, okay, this is the apex. Now, once we visually have our, our apex reference and we start uh, putting our steering angle into the corner, then the next thing will be picking up our exit, or in this case, our next next point of contact, which would be the next egg, the next apex. So we've got this. Okay, we've picked up our apex. Now we're focused on getting the car over to here, and then our next point of focus will be the exit way out here, having the car in this direction. Okay, so those that's what we know as our step by step approach. 
Um, rolling through here, you know, the exit of turn two or in this, the exit of, of the left hander is so open that we can really carry a bit more speed in through here and attack that turn two. So go whoop, whoop, like this. What we're doing though is we're doing this. We're holding, coming over here, going like this, and then kind of just driving over to there. So we're giving ourselves a lot of work for very little reason. So as we roll through here, we know, okay, we visually have the reference, we can start going left, and we can be back into the, the throttle because if we're looking ahead, you know, like, so you, we've given up on turn two, but so we're out of the throttle, but we know if we are looking ahead that, okay, this is our exit point. I see that. It's really not that challenging to get the car from here to there. So, you know, we don't have to turn tight. We don't have to slow down. We can keep accelerating. But we keep it kind of tight here. And then it's pretty easy out from there. But that delay and throttle cost us some speed. Now, also in here, we turn in, and this is going to be something that we do pretty much throughout the entire lap. We turn in super late without the need to turn in super late. So what I would do here is really kind of bomb it into here, get the car to hug around, and, you know, like maybe diamond this a little bit and come back out. So if we think of the, if we draw the corner on, just on the screen here. That's not it. Okay, so let's think of it like this, okay? That's actually not too bad. Okay. Okay, so if we think about it like this, right now what you're doing is you're doing this. Uh, I ran out of computer space, but or like this, right? So we're not actually doing much of anything. What I'm suggesting is we can get the car in a little bit harder and then rotate the car there and get the car out better. Okay. So if the car doesn't want to stick all the way around here, like for me, I was almost flat through here and I had my left front wheel on this white line all the way around. With your car, okay, maybe it doesn't rotate quite as good. So let's drive it in pretty hard, give away the mid corner a little bit, and then drive it out harder. So our speed here is higher, our speed here is higher, and our speed here is lower, okay? That's, the, that's called a diamond, where we kind of double apex it. But don't give away a lot of space. But the thing is, I, I want you to notice that you see, we'll see it as we rotate around here, actually. So we kind of delay, kind of delay. You see these, um, this line here and this line here. Okay, that's the actual grooves in the asphalt. If we get half of our car or even our full car in this area here, we're gonna, the car is going to rotate. If we had our like right side tires on this portion, it would rotate good for us, okay? But instead we're just kind of driving through, not really with any sense of purpose or direction. So if we can just rectify that a little bit, it'll be really beneficial for our lap time. So in what we've done is like, okay, maybe that, you know, we're focusing on a late apex to prepare more for this. We don't need to prepare for this corner quite so much. So carry the speed around the inside. And we didn't do the late apex anyway. We get back to the left side. And then here again, we treat this as if it must be a really, really tight corner. So you come in here and we stay straight and then we turn really sharp and then we drive out to the exit like this. And realistically, what I would be doing is coming in here and going like this. All right, so 
actually actually having the proper exit and approach. Um, so I'll show you. So see, this is where the curb is. I realistically, I would be way inside here. And I realistically would have like my right side wheels like this, you know, coming in this direction. And right now we're doing this. Our right side wheels are doing this. So we're not looking ahead. And what we would see is that our exit is way out here. Our exit isn't here. So this would travel to here, whereas this trajectory is bringing us to where we want to be. Okay. So I just think we're doing a super late turn in and we don't need to be doing such a super late turn in. Because what happens is, okay, now we're in no man's land. We didn't use the exit and we didn't carry the speed in on the entry. Um, here we're quite a bit better. So you hit the apex at the right point. We get on the throttle good. All's great. Here we want to break in a straight line. Let the car rotate in. As soon as we get the car to start rotating, I want to be hard on that throttle because we're running into a straight. And then here, I mean, you lift, but if we're looking ahead, you would know that you don't lift. You know, just look ahead, work the car a little bit harder when you can. You know, we're at slower speed. We're not really spinning up the, the tires because I mean, I'm looking at the acceleration G-force and it's not very much. Um, so, you know, just work the car a little bit harder here. Get the car through there, you know, much closer to flat, I would say. And that's going to be a big, big time benefit. Here, good, hard on the brakes. Get the car slowed up. And then here, again, if we're looking at our exit, we would know that whew, we've got all the room in the world. Because here's our exit out here. I was doing this flat in the rain. So I would clip the left and then I was flat all the way through. And that was in the rain with basically slicks on. So you've got tons of grip and tons of room to accelerate here. Um, so don't be afraid. Just allow the car to take, take the, you know, the approach and the car will come out nice, nice, just like this. Whereas right now we kind of, we stop and we wait and we wait and we wait till we see that we can go basically straight and then we go to full throttle. So that's just costing us some time. We're open, open, open. And I know like, so the reason I say that is, you know, I know you're maybe thinking, oh, but then it goes into a left-hander, but this left-hander is again, easy flat. So we might as well not sacrifice the right-hander if this left-hander is easy flat. Right, so we can use a bit more real road coming out of the right-hander and still do the left, no problem at all. And here, I mean, I think, again, you can carry your speed. We're treating each corner too specifically to it being one corner, okay? This corner flows into the right-hander, which actually flows into the left-hander. So we can use a little bit more road down here. You know, we can... Bring the, allow the car to flow out a little bit more and then get back, keep it tight around here and then tight around there. So this way we're carrying more speed through here because right now we're kind of prepping the car, but then we're not gaining anything by having a slightly better approach down here because we're going into a slower, tighter hairpin. And we've got the car over, but then we keep it really far to the right I would flow in a little bit more speed and treat this as our hairpin. Okay, so we've kind of prepped for this, but we don't need a good exit out of there because we have to break for the next corner anyway. So the exit's not important there. The flow through here is important. So I would be a little bit tighter. So I guess the line I'm, I'm recommending is coming from here, doing one of these, and then keeping it tight around there or even kind of like diamonding this one and coming out strong whereas right now you're doing this we're keeping it tight here and then we're basically stuck with the 
how tight the next corner is. So let the car flow a little bit more. Um, and you'll, you'll feel that, you know, the speed is much easier to come by. Because here, I mean, we've still got to prep for the right, and then we've still got to prep for the left. And here you do it good, keep it tight here. But now what's happened is we've overturned. So the next thing is, if we're looking ahead, we need to know that, okay, this is our apex, and this out here is our exit, and we're gonna be coming out this way. So we need to get the car, you know, we need to get the car over to our apex and out through our exit, okay? We need to get the car traveling like this. But what we do instead is then we come back here and then we turn to here and then we basically drive out to there. And that's just, we're not carrying any speed here and we're not utilizing the track here. I'll show you. We're now, realistically, we should be down in this region carrying the speed through, getting a good run onto the straight, but we've just missed it and over, you know, we're over tight and we have a little, like quite a bit more room to run out to. So you can carry the speed in and get the car to rotate, you know, around that last hairpin a bit better. So that's really it. I think we're just, you're trying to over prepare for these corners, but let the car flow, let the car rotate and, and, um, You'll find a, a, a lot of gain there. And then don't be afraid to be a little bit more aggressive in these spots. Um, you know, you'll be surprised at how the car responds back to you. The things that I say are really good though, is that you're not on throttle before the apex. One thing to remember, don't ever be on throttle before the apex. If you're on throttle before the apex, it means you've overslowed the car and now you're on throttle to drive the car through the corner and it's just going to understeer. Unless it's flat, of course, where you're, of course, you're on throttle. But if it's like a corner, like turn one here, where we break and then we've got to turn and then we've got to accelerate, we're accelerating at the apex. We're not accelerating before that. All right, but uh, I would say, I mean, you're, you've obviously got a good handle on it. Your lines aren't that bad. It's these little tweaks, right? It's these little tweaks that you're going to find a big gain on. You don't need to over prepare every corner. Um, sometimes, you know, the, the opening up that steering angle and not putting so much effort through the steering, it gives the car a bit more traction, allows you to come out quicker. That's the way that it, you know, that's the way that you're going to find time. All right. So thank you again, man, for using racers 360. I uh, hope you've enjoyed this and, uh, you know, keep me informed, keep me updated. Let's, let's do another one of these and we'll just, you know, we'll just find these increments and honestly, you'll get faster, uh, so much faster, you know, you'll get faster in less time and that's going to be the key. You're not going to be burning up your car all the time. We're going to get you that speed and we're going to, it's going to be more rewarding when you're the fastest in your group and everything like that. So we'll get there. We'll be smart about it. We'll just keep plugging away. All right. All the best, man. Thank you again. And uh, we'll be talking. Take care.